Next up, we have Mikhail Lerbank, who is the founder of Kingdom.io, and he's going to tell us about Accounts Merge, which allows multiple login services per account. It works. Yeah, so, uh, so my name is, is Mikhail, but you can call me Mikhail or, or Michael or um, whatever. And um, I actually run another company, but I, I, I started Kingdom.io, which is an ID lab, because I just want to get more shit done before I die. Uh, so, and yeah, I'm just going to show you a package that I built. It's not been released, but, so this is like the preview of it. Um, let's jump in. So, um, there's a few things that I couldn't do with Meteor that I want to want to fix, and it's when you use um, uh, login services and the user comes in once, the use case is, so he uh, uses Facebook, next time he comes in, he doesn't remember, he uses Twitter, and he gets two accounts, and then if you add so he can log in again, it's just going to flip back and forth between these accounts. I want to merge those. Another thing I wanted to do is when... Uh, let the user shop around or use the product without even signing up, and then he can sign it up later, like typically you do in an um, e-commerce site or something like that. Uh, and also, I didn't want to interface uh, or interfere with the Meteor core, so just like use the standard components and not break things. Uh, so I'll show you how I did it first. And uh, so I'm going to run this on localhost, like that. So basically, if I'm not logged into this site, it's, it's just an inventory list where you can store your domains. Let's call it domain one, um, hard to see. And then I log in to Twitter, and I still have the one. Uh, add number two, um, and I log in with Facebook. I still have the two, and now I'm logged in with two, account, uh, two remote services for the same account. If uh, I log out, I can log in again. Doesn't matter if I use Twitter or Facebook, I'm going to end up with the same account. Um, so I keep adding number three. Um, so you, just to explain, if you haven't had this problem, if you if you add uh, Gmail uh, now, uh, the way Meteor is working out of the box, it would log you out and log in with 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 Google. So you can't you can't add them together. This is just bringing everything together. Uh, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to go, now I'm going to really break it here. So let's add number five. And this is the tricky part. So when, when I then log in, I have two accounts. I have a G Gmail account and I have the Facebook slash Twitter. And now I come in and everything is collected in the same view. So it's really easy if you, you typically want your users to use all of them. So you, you can you know, tweet for them and, and, and do stuff like that. So um, that's uh, that thing, I'll go back and just show you how to do it. This is this is how you do it today. You you use Meteor login with Google, for example, and uh, if there's an error, you can do something. If if not, you can do something else. And I just change it to so use instead of login, you use sign in with Google. Uh, and there's a new th uh, thing called user IDs, which is. When you merge a user, one is going to be deleted. So you want to be able to, like, say it's a messaging site instead of my stupid domain thing. Uh, you have messages for two accounts. When you delete one of the accounts when you merge them, you got to like do some. You got to get tons of orphans otherwise. So per your applications, you need to um, to do something about it. So that's what I show here. I I created a um, a call uh, to the back end where I actually uh, just send source and destination and bring it together. Uh, and this is the, um, um, on the on the on the on the server side. I just change owner from the source to the destination in the collection, and that's done. Uh, this is what you can do soon once I released it. Hopefully today or tomorrow or later this week. Um, thanks. So do we have any questions for Mikhail? Yes. The question is if I can have a, a considerable amount of people interfacing with the different login services. Yeah, that should it's it's using Meteor standard functionality. So I'm actually using Meteor uh, Google login or whatever it's called, the regular 
uh, this one behind the scenes. It's just that I'm wrapping it so with the idea of not interfering. So it should work, yeah. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs>